Pierce's loyalty mission. So in addition to yourself being kidnapped and thrown into a simulation, all of your friends have as well. And uh, each simulation is built on that person's worst fears. So hmm. previously we went and saved Pierce uh, from the Saints flow cans because he's the uh, he's the the front facing face of the Saints and so Saints flow cans are all over the place there's a giant can quest for them like so we're gonna run through yeah. Pierce's loyalty quest which as you can see from this reward screen uh, after we finish it Pierce is gonna get superpowers well that's always good yeah hold on let me uh... For those of you guys watching at home, feel free to chime in with, uh, with questions. we got somebody watching in both of the chats, both on YouTube and on Twitch. So uh, if you have any questions for Dave or for me or, uh, you know, dumb comments, feel free to uh, let those fly. So you're, uh, you're jumping pretty high here. That's a little, pretty, bit, little bit higher high. than in the previous Saints Row games. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. This isn't full height yet, but, uh, but it's a little higher. Yeah. You can jump... Uh, I'll hold, I think it's somewhere around 70 meters tall. That's, that's a high jump. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Damn it, girl, my mission, my call. There's a shipment of trucks being unloaded at the Oh, wow, I haven't done this one yet. This is... Start drawing out Zinyak's guys. Where are her pants? I'll run, you drive. We'll see who gets there first. No. Are you playing as Billy Idol? Kind of. Kind yeah, of, yeah, okay. Together. Yeah, I wanted to show that, uh, you know, we still have the Cognate accent. We get that question a lot. A lot, actually. Yeah. But it's still there. Are you allowed to talk about any of the other voices you may have in the game at all? Or? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have, uh... We have the, the usual seven voices that we had on Saints Row, Saints Row 3. Zombie has been replaced with Nolan North. <laughs> um... <laughs> And as a new feature with voices, you can now modulate your voice. I was thinking of doing that for this, but I wanted to, to make sure that we left the, uh, yeah. the Cogni accent untouched. But, uh, but it's a lot of fun because you can pitch the voices up and down. And uh, with this voice specifically, I love to pitch it up and you kind of get the... Uh, yeah, that I'm actually the guy I'm playing with right now. He's, he sounds like a time bandit. Awesome. He's just like, oh, what are we doing here? Yeah. If you, if you go pretty far on it, you can get that little worm dude from, uh, oh, man. from Labyrinth. Yeah. Uh, like, no, I said hello, but that's close enough. <laughs> you can totally get that guy. Now, it's amazing. Just to back this up, just to, just to drive this home... Finally, you got, there's a game where you can play as a character who's voiced by Nolan North. Yeah. Because that's really, you know... Yeah, I, I, I mean... You guys were like, there's too many zombies in games. Let's put Nolan North Yeah, the there. funny thing, too, is, like, our, our uh, default player male voice is Troy Baker. And he's in, like, everything this year, yep. too. So we have, we have both of them in the same game. How insane is that? Oh, my God. Yeah, so and you can, you can lower the, the... You should have just, like, a instead of a slider, just have, like, a, the gruffness level goes from, like, you know... <laughs> goes from Saints Row voice to, uh, you know, to, to Booker DeWitt to Joel. It's just like the gruffness, the gruffness slider. All right, so we got to destroy all these, uh, these trucks, and uh, it's a good place to show off some of our superpowers. Also, our weapon customization, I figured this, uh, this character uh -huh. would be pretty good to, to run around with these dual Tommy guns. Oh, those, are, those are fun. Yeah, I was I was very surprised at the amount of weapon customization you've got. Also, the fact that you guys uh, haven't been sued for it, or not yet, anyway. Yeah, it's always a, a fine line to tread. There's some, yeah, you may, there's a, yeah, there's a Jawa gun. There's a, there's some stuff in there. We should we should definitely check that out later. Uh, we got some questions from the chat here. Um, here's a good one. Uh, so Ninja 4 asks. How did you guys come up with the idea to make the character the president? Um, how do we come up with any idea? I mean, you always want to escalate, or we always want to escalate. And so, uh, you know, the player's always gone higher and higher and higher in society with every game. So, like, where do you go from, like, basically the ruler of a city? Oh, it's the ruler of the free world. Of course, it's not really a free world anymore. It's a... It's a world under Zinyak, but, you know, whatever. Why would you not make the, the, the character? The, there, I can't think of any other game where you play as the president, really. There have been a couple. There, there's some, uh, I forget what it's called, Wolf something, that was, huh. like, absolutely insane. It was a Japanese game. Okay. So, uh, so I'm going to show some of the 
usage of the superpowers, you know, I have to kill these trucks. Trucks have a lot of health. Uh, but uh, one way you can make that easier on yourself is to freeze them first. Ah. When they're frozen, they're all brittle. You know, I think I saw Mythbusters on that where they froze a monster truck and then shot it with a gun. Yeah. And it's, they yeah, do blow up familiar. more easily that way, yeah. you know. That's, and uh, you've got... Another, another good way to take care of it, stomp it in the water. Mm-hmm. That's easy. No problem. Also, you can just pick it up, chuck it in there. I'm out of trucks. All right. Takes care of them quite nicely. The okay, so another question. Uh, let's see. Death by Pokey Seven says, "Is there any point using cars that now that you have super jumps? Like you, you can, you can, you can run faster than anything and jump all over the place, but you're still in a car." You know, all the cars are still available. We have over 100 cars. They're still fully customizable, um, and you know, it can come down to play style. A lot of players do find that they use cars a lot less than they have in Saints Row Three. Uh, but they're all still there. They're, they're given the same love they're always given. So if what you like is drive around cars, then by golly, you do that. And they're singing Bismarck Key. Indeed they are. What happens? So, you know, this is the, uh, the loyalty mission for Pierce. So we try to, you know, like show, show what Pierce is all about. And one of the things Pierce is all about is sing along. Singing, yeah. That's true. So you, you, still, got, you still got all the stuff that... Pretty much all the stuff that was in, in Saints Row 3, you got like car customization, you know, there's all that all that kind of ground floor layer is still there, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now for the superpowers, uh, I'm sort of I'm sort of giving you like guided questions because I have I have played a chunk of this game, but sure. you you can't just you're not just immediately God mode, right? Your superpowers are kind of you kind of have to upgrade them a bit, right? Yeah, this is a question that we ha we get a lot. I mean. Don't get me wrong, your power level will get very extreme by the end of the game. But uh, some of what we've done to combat that is by having aliens as enemies, we can go a lot further with what they can do. So we have enemies that have superpowers themselves. They can jump on top of buildings and chase you down, down the street at 100 miles an hour. So just because you have these amazing abilities doesn't mean that you're automatically going to win against these guys. There's also, you know, lots of new tiers of guys. We have, uh, you know, in Saints Row 3, we had like a specialist per gang, and then basically you had just grunts yeah. all over the place, and then brutes, right? So in this one, we have way more enemy types. Uh, within this mission, we're seeing pretty much just Brotherhood dudes so it's it's not really showing it off. But when we get out to the open world, I'll. Uh... And the Brotherhood, they're from Saints Row 2, right? Yes. That's this is something that I've, I've has been striking as, as rather interesting. Is you've got a lot of kind of uh, a lot of kind of throwback stuff to the previous games. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of throwbacks. Um, not is... really sure where we started with that, <laughs> but but it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun to kind of reintroduce some of the characters. Uh, we have characters from a bunch of different Saints Row games, so fans of the series are going to see a lot of people that they haven't seen for a while. It's, it's just pretty cool. And you've got, you got Keith with. David doing a voice again, right? Yes, Keith but, David as Keith David. Right, he's not, he's not Julius, he's, he's Keith David. Right. Yeah, yeah. of course, obviously, yeah. I mean, he's, he's himself. Why yeah. would that, you know? Yeah, he's got, it's been great. Uh, you know, he obviously has a good sense of humor, and he's, he's uh, willing to come in and play himself as the Vice President of the United States. He's he's a he's one of my favorite voices. I feel like he's just kind of always been talking in my ear in some sense throughout yeah. throughout my time listening to things where people talk in them. As Goliath. Yep. Goliath spawn and then, you know put on the sunglasses. Um, let's see. Smelly Rascals, when's the inauguration station being released? It's coming out real soon. We haven't announced the date yet, but Rest assured, it will be very, very soon. And is that like the character customization thing? Sort yeah, of yeah. Same as the initiation station was on Saints Row 3. It allows you to customize and build your character ahead of time. Very the other cool. thing you can do is uh, import characters from Saints Row 3. Uh, so really anything that you've up uploaded to SaintsRow.com, you can download and use in this game. Okay. And that's all, that's all still, that's all the, the ones that have existed there, are they still there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, everything that's up there is still up there. Awesome. Yeah, I think that there was that 
there was that, I don't want to bring up terrible things or anything, but there's that brief sort of hiccup where that was hosted on THQ.com, and it was like, oh, my, my dudes, my Jim Sterling, somebody, yeah. somebody took him away. Yeah, that was a, was a concern at, at one point, but yeah, we did successfully get everything back over. Here's a good question. Uh, Rebcom1807 says, will there be a way to replay previous missions? Uh, previous missions, no. Missions specifically, a lot of people just call everything missions. Right. Uh, all the activities, all the open world content is is replayable, but but the, the story missions you kind of got to go back and yeah. Okay. Um, so about that, one thing you've changed in the activities that I'm actually really fond of is it's not just a pass fail thing anymore. Yeah, we, uh, you know, a lot of activities we we've always had kind of a a challenge with balancing them because we want it to be fun for people of various skill levels. Um, and, it, and it's really hard, right? You want the activity to be challenging and, and fun for the high-end player or the, the casual player that picks it up. So now all of our activities have medals, um, and you can get bronze through, bronze through gold. Um, we also have a lot more balancing that happens based on like you know the difficulty level that you chose so that it can work better for everybody that's playing it. That's good. It's like Angry Birds. You're trying to get, you can get three stars, but maybe you're only going to get two. Right, yeah. So bronze means you beat it, gold means you really took it down. Yeah. And uh, what about uh, what about co-op? What are you guys doing with that? Are you talking about that at all? Same basic feature set as we had for Saints Row 3. We have full campaign co-op. Um, there are a few co-op specific uh, gameplay modes within the city. You have a uh, cat and mouse and death tag. Death tag now has superpowers, so you can freeze your friends and shatter them. Stuff like that. That's cool. I know that a lot of people were sort of were sort of bummed that uh, so that three didn't have competitive multiplayer, but yeah, it's it's one of those things where it it takes a lot of time and resources, and you know it's better to focus on what we are doing, make sure we're doing that as well as we can. Well, having a big sort of open world fighting game almost with superpowers is, is pretty cool too. Uh, let's see, we got another question. Um, let's see, Mogwai Mon says, question, can you show off the garage system after this mission or at some point? I'd love to see the car summons. Is that doable? Can we go into customization and... Car summons, yeah. I, I'm guessing I know what they're talking about. I'm just not sure how they know what they're talking about. <laughs> Or just the spoilers, you know? The, I mean, not the, not the spoilers, but like the spoilers you put on cars. We're not going to show any spoilers, guys. We're not going to ruin the game for you. Yeah, so... One we are going to ruin some cars. One of the things that we've done in this game uh, to, to try to keep cars, since they, they can be outclassed in some ways by, like, fully upgraded super movement, uh, we wanted them to remain as relevant as, we, as they could be. Uh, so we've made getting a car a lot easier process than it has been in the past. And, uh, you know, in, in past games, you've had the vehicle delivery homie who will, like, drive it up to you. Now, that vehicle de delivery homie works for every kind of vehicle. You can call in a helicopter, and you'll just, like, spawn inside of it. Since we're in the simulation, yeah, we can just, like, let's make a vehicle right <laughs> now. And it opens up a lot of doors, because you really don't have to adhere to reality anymore. Right. Because you're in virtual reality. Who needs reality? Yeah. It's boring. Video games are stupid. Let them be stupid. Um, no, I think it's, that's a lot of fun. Also, you just you you will appear in the car. Yeah, I've, yeah. You I'm, just, I'm enjoying that. You it's, just pop in there, like you can be just in in your VTOL. You just pop into it oh, in the sky beautiful. and just start flying around. And of course, you can still do the amazing karate chop through the wind, or you know, karate kick through the windshield. Yeah, move, the Bojukin right? entries. Oh yeah. Yeah, and you can do that while running at super speed too. Yeah, which I'm, it makes it a little more difficult. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's also unsettling and and crazy and hilarious. So you know, there's that. Uh, oh, here's a good one. Uh, Rocker9135 says, is insurance fraud back in this game? Oh, yes. Insurance fraud, I believe, is the only activity that successfully made it through every Saints Row game. And it, it's still consistently, like, the highest one that people ask about, people love <laughs> to play. Um, what's great about insurance fraud now, I was just talking about insurance fraud earlier today, about how, you know, it used to be that you want to get onto the freeway because cars drive faster on the freeway and they'll knock you around farther. Huh. Well, now you're faster than cars on the freeway, so you can right. run 100 miles an hour and then ragdoll into a car. You can also super jump, which, yes. you know, there's a lot. Of, it's, a, it's a different experience. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a really advanced um, Frogger, where you're the opposite of Frogger. 
where you're trying to try to get as hit by as many cars. Um, but yeah, I think the, I think this superpower is it's, it's one of those things where if you glance at it, you're like, oh, whatever. It's like cheat codes. Bleh. It's the uh, DLC, but it, it's it changes the game quite a bit. Yeah, it's it ends up being a pretty significantly different game than what what you've had before, but it's all still very familiar. You know, I mean, the core mechanics are still what they were, plus superpowers, and a lot of the superpowers have been built around um, working with your gunplay that you've always had, so like freeze right. makes it so that your guns are just more powerful. Uh, yeah. And this guy's got a, a force field on him, which I'm guessing, yeah, you gotta, you gotta use your powers to sort of take that down. Yeah, so I'll use my stomp on this guy. You can shrink him down. It's actually not the best Oh, target. wow, I don't have that yet. That's, you just, Wow, he's tiny. Yeah. Borrow so a little bit from old Duke are, Nukem there, huh? These are the superpower elements that you can earn through, like, side side content in the game. And uh, they they kind of fundamentally change what your superpower is going to do. So, like, I just switched over to Gravity Stomp. So now it'll hold guys in stasis for me. It also, you can see, like, picks up their oh, cars. Wow. So if somebody is, like, <laughs> hiding behind a car, taking taking cover behind a car, you can just kind of oh my God. raise it up and say, like, nope, so long, sucker. Yeah, you are, you're going crazy here. Uh, let's see, Ump Bullet says, what's the president's worst nightmare? Do you really? Uh, so your simulation, yeah, everybody's, everybody's simulation is built after your nightmare. And so for you, they've basically destroyed the saints within the simulation. Um, so it's it's in still port still. Yeah, I see. Is that Super Pierce? That's wearing a sombrero. Uh, yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. Everybody gets their own. He looks like Kung Lao. Yeah. Yes, he gets a little Kung Lao-y. Uh, everybody gets their own like new costume when they become super powered. So like that's uh, that's what Pierce looks like. What I think is interesting is you guys are you're you, you could have this could be a thing where you know you're the president and you just have a higher level of access to things and it could be a game where you're in the Matrix and it could be a game where you're superheroes but you kind of combined all of them so it really just. It's kind of just going overboard in, in all different directions, uh, but I like that. I like that you've got everyone's just becoming superheroes because.